Alright, I wanted to go over how the announcement bar works and uh, just do a general walkthrough and some settings things. Um, so the first thing to note is the default announcement bar is controlled by um, cookies so when you close the announcement bar it will save a cookie in your browser for a set number of days which means um, the announcement bar won't come back um, for a set number of days unless I click this arrow but um, let's say I didn't click the arrow um, the whether I close the browser or anything like that <clears throat> the browser will remember that it was closed and it won't reopen it for a set number of days alright so let's, let's just bring it back for now and um, open up some HTML <clears throat> so it's on every page so I'm just gonna start on the index page and just do a general walkthrough on um, how it works. So it's at the top, obviously, and there's basically two blocks. The, the first block is the actual bar, and you can add as much text or as little as you'd like. And um, there's a little close button. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then <clears throat> the next block is the actual reset button this block just produces that arrow and if you don't want people to be able to bring it back just delete this block of code right here and um, <clears throat> once people close the announcement bar they can't bring it back it just depends on what kind of announcement you want to have um, <clears throat> right there so <clears throat> that's just basically the little general walkthrough right there on how that works go ahead and not save that the other thing that's pretty cool is the fixed announcement bar and that just means the announcement bar is always going to stay on top of your browser regardless of where you scroll on the page and if we go to the fixed announcement.html file <clears throat> the only addition to this is this fixed announcement div um, so if you wanted to have that on all of your pages just surround um, the announcement code with div ID fixed announce. Pretty simple. So um, let's get into some of the more complicated stuff which is how you um, actually adjust the cookie and that's in the JS folder under script. And If we open that up and we scroll to the top it's actually the first one is announcement bar cookie activation and um, the only code you really need to pay attention to is, is this expires <clears throat> and what you want to do is adjust this 5 it's up to you you can leave it at 5 what this means right now by default is the cookie will stay saved for 5 days so if someone closes the announcement bar it'll stay closed for 5 days and then if they revisit your site 5 days later it'll come back so if you want it a week a lot longer less time it's up to you um, that's basically the main um, ways you can customize it. Alright, so the other thing that I've noted is that if you want this to be based not on cookies because sometimes you just want it to come back every time somebody revisits your site. So if you close your browser and open it up, that's called a session. So if you want it to be based on a session, I've actually left the code in there and it's right underneath it. I've commented it out and it's called session version. And if you wanted it based on a session like that, you would just uncomment the code. And of course you would just delete the old the original code. And you would save this. And then you would go into the script. And I've left the code right here. There's another comment right here. You would remove the comment and maybe put it back up there. So the code actually turns back on and delete the original code. And then you would save it. And then you can even refresh the page. And you'll notice that it looks exactly the same. And the only difference is that this announcement bar, when you close it, it'll come back when the browser is restarted because it's based on sessions. So that's all you need to know about the announcement bar.